But there's one more mystery that Juno will hope to solve. And that is the mystery of Jupiter's aurora that blaze in ultraviolet light and high energy X-rays. They are like the Earth's northern lights on steroids. But our current understanding of the physics cannot explain why they are so extensive. Part of Juno's mission is to find out exactly how these aurora are generated. On Earth, the aurora are caused by the interaction of the magnetic field with the solar wind, the flow of particles that stream from the sun. Something similar must be happening on Jupiter. But there's a problem. At this distance from the sun, the solar wind is much too weak to generate such a bright display on its own. Chris tracked down planetary scientist John Nichols to find out how Juno is going to help decode Jupiter's yeah. remarkable aurora. So these are amazing images, but what exactly are we seeing? So we're seeing Hubble observations of Jupiter's ultraviolet auroras. These are the auroras here. Now auroras are formed when charged particles trapped on a planet's magnetic field travel down the magnetic field and hit the atmosphere and make it glow. I'm trying to imagine what it would be like looking at these aurora if you could somehow stand uh, and look up at Jupiter. How strong are they compared to Earth's aurora? So, Typically, the auroras are about 100 times brighter than they are on the Earth. In fact, during our campaign, we've seen the auroral brightness really increase dramatically to about 1,000 times what you'd see on the Earth. Now, if you could see these, these are obviously ultraviolet taken with the Hubble Space Telescope, but if you could float in a balloon in Jupiter's atmosphere and look up at these, you'd see a curtain of red. It would be bright red, and it's 1,000 kilometers high, and it would extend from one horizon to the other. An auroral display of this magnitude requires a constant and plentiful supply of charged particles, which can become entangled with Jupiter's magnetic field. Scientists think they've identified that source. It is Jupiter's moon, Io. Io is the closest large moon to Jupiter, and it's highly volcanic. Every hour, its volcanoes spew tons of material into the magnetic field that surrounds the giant planet. That material becomes electrically charged, interacting with Jupiter's magnetic field lines and creating the aurora where they intersect the planet's atmosphere. It's an extraordinary idea, but it's backed up by some remarkable evidence. As Io orbits, it leaves its footprint drawn brightly in the aurora. I love the fact this is due to volcanoes on a moon and we yeah. see it on the planet. That's quite cool. What about the rest of this structure? There's an awful lot going on here. Yeah, so this is the Io footprint here. And then we've got the main auroral oval, which is also driven by material from Io. But then we've got all this stuff in the middle and we really have no idea what drives that. We think that it might be due to something to do with the solar wind. The solar wind drives the Earth's auroras, but we have no theories about in our magnetospheric physics that tells us that we should see something like this. So we really have no idea what's causing it. And to understand that, you need to know what's coming in, you need to understand the magnetic field, and you need to know what's going on in the planet itself. It's sort of a really complex problem. That's right, and that's why Juno is the perfect spacecraft to tell us exactly what is going on here. Juno is going to fly over this region for the first time and it's going to tell us what the magnetic field and the plasma is doing in this region and it's going to reveal what's causing this. And if there was one thing that you could find out about Jupiter, you only get one answer to a question from the Juno mission, what would it be? I want to know what is causing this. I really want to find the answer, what is giving us all of these sparkles and flashes and pops going off here. <laughs>